Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 2 Let's Play, where today I am loving having these max collectors in mines. I literally have like no need for loot. Uh, I just attack for trophies, pretty much. So uh, let's start off this video right by doing some shorter upgrades and then we'll finish off with some bigger ones like last time. So first off, I really need to get my barracks going. So uh, let's upgrade this It's a quick 15 minute upgrade, 2500 e elixir in three, two, one, bam. All right, so now uh, I think the other one, the next like shortest upgrade is 30 minutes, which I'm not gonna wait 30 minutes between clips. So we're just gonna have the one builder going right now. Let's upgrade some walls to burn some gold and it's I'm gonna burn all of my gold, okay? Literally every single drop because, wait, coin, every single coin. Yeah, because gold, you can melt gold. It's just very hot after that. Uh, but let's go ahead and collect all of the loot out of there. Now, I've already maxed up my elixir, and I've also still got a loot card, because I did take a couple of defenses. Yeah, so the first one just dropped a barbarian army, and I gained 22 trophies because of that, which was awesome. And then I, uh, Actually took a with the exact same army that I used 20 barbarians and 10 archers I took a I got a three star unfortunately three star, but I only lost four trophies. So not that bad So um, right now, maybe I should actually upgrade something that's elixir based. I mean I could I've got all my storages are maxed out, my collectors and mines are maxed out. Everything else that needs to be upgraded is cannons, the barracks, the archer tower, and the rest of the wall. So I could do the barracks. I mean, I could. I don't necessarily have to do both builders or use up both builders at the end of the video. So I can go ahead and start this now, and uh, then it'll be going. That's cool. And then I won't be maxed in elixir, and I can actually farm and, and make some progress. So let's do this, guys. 5,000 elixir. One hour upgrade to unlock goblins in three, two, one, bam. Cool. Change my mind mid-video. That's totally fine, right? Um, let me look at something right quick. So my capacity is 2,500. That looks like it's about halfway. So I'm going to collect that. There we go. Okay, so my gold and my elixir are both about even, which is totally fine. So now I've got my army. Let's go smack a couple of bases. Remember, mostly prioritizing uh, trophies, 31 trophies. So I've got a base here. I think I can probably sneak in here with um, a two-finger deployment. Let me see, okay. Uh, barbarian, yeah, there we go. So barbarians and archers. I uh, Barbarians, why did you go up? You're supposed to go down. I lost my archers because of you, you punk. All right, barbarians get in there. Archers follow behind. Come on, guys. Dang it, that was so dumb. Why did they go? I, I literally put my finger like on the bottom corner of the deployment spot. That was so dumb. Well, all right, so I probably won't even two star now because my stupid barbarians are stupid. <laughs> all right. It's okay though. Uh, it really, it's about the loot. As long as I get a one star, I'll be all right with a, with a 10 trophy gain. It's better than zero, right? Um, yeah, because I got to get all the way through this clan castle. They're both getting bombarded right now. That cannon, that's a bigger cannon. Look at that. Big cannon, little cannon. Big cannon, little cannon. And uh, they, the big cannon does quite a bit of uh, damage. So uh, hopefully I can at least get that 50%. I'm sure that the archers can do it. We're outside the range now, so the archers can get it. There's only two left, though. Dang it, this is going to be a marathon. I'm hoping only one building is necessary to get 50%. If one building is necessary to get 50%, then at least to get that 50%. I'm really upset right now. Why did the barbarians go for whatever when I specifically placed them on the bottom corner to have them go for the cannon first? That's so dumb. Maybe I should have come in from the bottom. I was trying to get the big cannon first, not the little cannon, because the little cannon isn't that big of a threat. Let's just be honest. But the big cannon, gotta watch out for the big cannon. But at least now, okay, I've got the one star, so I did win the raid, so I will gain 10 trophies. And I'm getting more elixir, which, like I've said, I don't, I'm not really struggling for loot. It's mostly about builders. And I want to get as many trophies, no, uh, gems as possible as well. Because if I can get myself that third builder soon, dude, we'll be in good shape. And I think that this, yeah, that archer is about to go down. Good try, archer. I really appreciate you trying to get that town hall for me. That was awesome. So, 10 trophies. That's still not, that's better than losing any, right? And 1,600 gold and elixir so i'm gonna go ahead and start the next army oh oh dang guys i can't even train another army wow i did not realize i've got both barracks going right now that is a bad idea don't do this in clash of clans okay perfect title to today's video if i don't come up with something better don't do this in clash of clans don't upgrade both your barracks 
That's a stupid thing to do. Now I can't train another army in uh, preparation for the next clip. Come on, man. There we go. That's really irritating. Well, I guess I can just go raid and then burn 10 minutes. All right, so let's go attack. Uh, I was just trying to come up with another solution, but there really wasn't one. Um, ooh, wow. Mortar. Definitely not going to attack a base with a mortar. 27 trophies. Okay, all defenses are accessible. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and take this one out. Look at this base. It's got like one wall, two walls. It's got two walls. That's hilarious. All right, let's go. Uh, barbarians, you guys first. Very good. Archers second. All right, there you go. So I was able to target directly all three defenses at once. So that should be a three star for me. There goes the archer tower. There goes the cannon. And there goes the big cannon. It goes down. And now this will be a three star. So I'll get the 27 trophies that I was hoping for uh, or that I, that I should be getting today. Uh, uh, in this at least this first raid or the second raid first raid was a flop We're not gonna talk about that first raid first raid didn't happen second raid though very very important So <laughs> town hall should go down and then I believe the last of the buildings I already checked for corner buildings because I got tired of watching my troops run from one side of the base to the other so uh, definitely uh, happy to, to announce that there's no corner buildings in this particular base and it's just going to be a matter of time, I guess, before we take out all of the buildings. Look at the percentage gain per building. I'm so used to it being one percentage per building. But it looks like it's like 8, 7%, something like that. Yeah, we went from 85 to 93. That's 8. And then this one would be 93 to 100, which would be 7. So each building on these is like 8 or 7%, right? That's crazy. That's a lot of percentage points. But there we go. 27 trophies. Very good. So now I'm at 268 trophies. We're getting so close to Bronze League. That is Amazing. So guys, I'm stuck. I literally can't train any troops. I can't do anything. Uh, I just have to wait until the eight minutes are up. So I'll be right back and maybe I'll be patient enough to start another army. I might not be. We'll see. All right, guys, I was actually able to stay plenty distracted, um, film something for my second YouTube channel. Go check it out if you haven't already. There's a link in the description. So I actually was able to finish off that one hour barracks upgrade as well as the shorter one so that we can learn some things. So first of all, um, I do need to train another army or two, but I have now officially unlocked the goblins, which is pretty helpful. Um, if I'm able to burn a few minutes, I could do another attack, but really the attacks, it's not that big of a deal. I got plenty of loot. So what I'm going to do is first learn a little bit. Uh, barracks uh, level four. Yeah, so I can only go to level four barracks. Level five barracks, which will unlock the wall wrecker, is not available until Town Hall 3. So I'm done with the barracks, or at least this barracks. The other one needs to be upgraded one more time, and it is another hour. Um, otherwise, uh, I think that we're pretty much in great shape. Let me upgrade a couple more walls. Not, not all of them. Let me upgrade a couple more walls and make a little bit more room. I think I've collected, yeah, I've collected all of my, uh, gold mines. Let's collect them to collect the loot card as well and spend maybe another thousand gold on walls. There we go. Okay. So now we've kind of balanced our loot a little bit, looking good, feeling even better. And what should we upgrade next? I mean, I can probably go ahead and do one of them. I kind of feel like I should just do the barracks. I mean, no, because I, it's going to take me a while. It's going to take me a few minutes until I have another army. So I don't want to upgrade the barracks right now. But maybe maybe there's a like a is there like a th another hour long upgrade that I can do. Let me see. So the cannons are 45 minutes. The barracks is an hour and the archer tower is 30 minutes. Well, I might have another level for the archer tower. So I kind of want to upgrade that right now just to to learn you know figure it out i could always look it up on the wiki or whatever but i don't feel like doing that right now so let's upgrade this arch tower 30 minutes to, uh 2000 gold no problem three two one bam and uh the goal for the next upgrade will be to finish off our barracks and then we'll be in good shape also did i not get an achievement for unlocking the goblins i guess i didn't because i feel like i've gotten a few achievements from unlocking certain Certain troops. Oh, the next one. Okay, release the beast. That's the one. So unlocking wall wreckers, it, or wall breakers. Sorry, is the next one in the uh, the achievements line. That's totally fine. Okay, so uh, could I maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna wait about four minutes, guys. I'm gonna get at least one more raid in the books for today's video, and uh, we'll max out our gold. It's gonna be well. Hopefully, we'll max out our gold. Just kind of depends on how much loot the next base has. But um, if I can do, you know, thirty or so trophies, I'll be nearing three hundred then. And I'll only have 100 left to Bronze League. So I'll be right back.
All right, guys, so the army is ready to go. All right, cool. So let's do a raid and uh, try to get some loot. Dang it. Oh, 34 trophies would be beautiful, but I'm not going to attack a base with a mortar. Get it through your thick skull game. I'm not going to do it. Seriously, can you tell? It's trying to make me do it. It's trying. It's forcing me. Uh, again, unless I can just sneak in and take the mortar out without any problems, but there's also other defenses in the way too. So I have to be very picky about how I, uh, how I move forward here. Plus there's only 18 trophies in that base. That one had a mortar. Uh, there we go. This one doesn't have a mortar. That's the best part, right? All right. So, uh, let's go boom, 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 boom. And I'm going to set the rest of the barbarians on this side just because it had two cannons or two defenses. No corner buildings. So throwing the last archer and that should be a three star. It was only 25 trophies and the loot wasn't that great. But I'm starting to run out of choices for uh, bases if I refuse to hit a base that has a mortar in it. So uh, so yeah, let's, let's do this. It's all about time at this point. And I'm going to get plenty of elixir, so I'm going to be able to upgrade that last barracks, and then we're going to look at what's left in this uh, Town Hall 2 Let's Play before we move on to Town Hall 3. Because you guys know I'm going to be maxing out everything before I go to each Town Hall. That does include Town Hall 2. And uh, so one of the big things that's going to be an issue is the walls. I'm going to have to get plenty of gold to upgrade and max out my walls. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. For now, though, um, that's going to be the three star. Nice. Cool. Okay, so with 25 gained, let me look. Yeah, 287. We're at 287 trophies to go. Now, uh, let's look at what's left. So if I, if, if, let's just say for argument's sake, because I don't know, I don't have it memorized. Let's just say for argument's sake that the Archer Tower is done. That means that I only have this barracks and I'm about to upgrade, two cannons, and the rest of the walls. And then Town Hall can be upgraded. So we may very well get to do that at the end of the next video. It's just all kind of up to whether or not I can finish these walls. I got 11 walls, so it's 11,000 gold. Um, I can go ahead, since I'm going to be doing a, a barracks upgrade, which is going to take Elixir, I can go ahead and spend the rest of my gold on walls. Let's go ahead and do a couple more. There we go. That puts me at eight walls. So next episode, guys, I'll probably start off by upgrading both these cannons. I'm hoping the Arch Tower is done. And then it'll all be about getting enough gold, which is 4,000 to upgrade the Town Hall. And then, of course, finish the walls too. So it's, it's going to be a lot of gold. I'm going to need... A lot of gold between episodes, but it'll be it'll be fun. It's going to be an enjoyable experience. So for now, though, guys, let's upgrade this final barracks. It's an hour long upgrade, a 5000 elixir upgrade as well. And then basically the gold grind begins. So let's do this, guys. 5000 elixir, one hour upgrade, three, two, one. Bam. And unfortunately, that means my arm is going to take, you know, twice as long to get again. But that's not that big of a deal because I probably won't be uh, doing a lot of attacking off camera. I, I may do a little bit just because I do realize I need, what, 8,000 gold plus the cannons would be another 8,000 plus the, the Town Hall's force. That's 20,000 gold in a single video if I choose or if I, if I get to the point where I can max out stuff. And I can only hold 7,000. So, I mean, it's going to be going to be special if I, if I can get that done next episode that'd be very very special so for now go uh, though guys it's a waiting game so thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of our channel 2 let's play which may be the second to last episode if i can do everything right uh like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and uh do not forget to ring that bell for notifications so you can be one of the first to see the new videos and lastly don't forget to use creator code to support your favorite content creator with your in-game purchases if you choose to support me I'm greatly appreciative. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a huge blessing to me and my family. That's obviously if you buy something, um, gold pass, gems, packs, whatever. But remember that the, exp uh, the the code expires every seven days. So always go into your shop, look for the little white C. You can see mine's there. So I am good to go. But if it wasn't, then I would use the link in the description to input that code automatically or go into the settings and do it manually. Guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.